All right, hello everybody. Uh, if you've seen my previous series of videos, uh, it was about building a Tweedledee Deluxe. And one of the things somebody had asked me about is uh, how do you balance the phase inverter and what would be the best way to show that off? So it, I'm just going to quickly first show you a couple schematics that use a phase inverter balancer so you get an idea of what it is. In this one right here, this is the Tweedledee Deluxe I just built. And this is a 10K trimmer potentiometer or resistor. It's a variable resistor uh, that is connected to the ground section of either what goes on to the next stage or what goes to the ground on the phase inverter. And we'll show the schematic as well, but uh, that's that's where you adjust it. So over here, if you look, this is the, the input is coming across on the left through the, through the 0 0.022 microfarad down and over into pin 7 of this 12AX7. And then down to the bottom, it would be uh, the cathode follows correctly, and then the top part goes out to the top. So what's called a uh, cathodine phase inverter because each uh, each half of the, the signal comes out of the, the anode or the cathode of this tube. But in the cathode side, there's a trimmer that allows you to adjust how much of the current of it goes to ground versus how much of that will be allowed to continue to go through into the, uh, the, net, the power tubes. Uh, another amp that was done this way is the Dumble. Uh, overdrive special. This is uh, number 124, but you can see here this is the output or the input coming into the phase inverter of the power. So the uh, the high voltage comes into this and there's a 5k trimmer that shoots it to either direction then those connect down into uh, here for the, the power. So that is also part of what uh, is allowing you to configure it in this case. And we'll look at the schematic. In the schematic you can see right here there is a B plus coming into the 5K and then that sends half of it each direction roughly, but you balance how much current is allowed to go to either side of the tubes from that high voltage rail. And then that balances out how much goes to the top side or the bottom side off to the power output stage. So that's the basics of how a trimmer works in visual view form in the schematics and layouts. Now we're going to show you with uh, uh, this next video segment how that works. All right, everybody, uh, I just wanted to take a short minute here to show a new video explaining how to balance a phase inverter. So um, I have the phase inverter trimmer inside of this. I don't know if it's very visible, but it's right here. I'm not going to do any trimming adjustments because I will basically show you uh, it's already balanced or should still be, but um, I'm going to turn on, I've got my output signal generator pushing in signal into the input here. I'm gonna turn the amp on. I need to make sure both inputs are on. I don't know, is that set to 1x or 10x on the probe? 1x now, okay. So what we will do is the volume is low. If I start turning up the volume a little bit, um, all right, so what I need to do here is get this set to the right scale so that they are at the exact same. Right now I've got 5 volts and 50 volts, so I have to adjust them both to be the same scale. So that is 50 volts, but the problem I have is, hold on, sorry, that um, I think I've, so I've got a 100 times probe on this one, just happened to have that one, and this one's either 1 or a 10 times probe. So I need to, okay, that adjusted that a little bit better. So now, we will get this guy. So we're set to five volts. And now you can see they're very close to the same size. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I want to adjust the height of these so that they're next to each other. And one of the things that's most important here is that to balance it, you can see they're slightly off. Um, now I had, one of the things I'm going to want to do is, let's adjust this downward. We'll do the same with the other one. So I'm going to turn the volume up. See how it's starting to clip right there? You want to dial it back down just a tiny bit. And then you um, effectively can now see, I can see a teeny bit of distortion on this. Um, let me make sure this is visible on the screen. It is, okay, so right here, you start to get a very tiny amount of distortion. You adjust this knob up a teeny bit more, and see now you're seeing some clipping and distortion on, on the yellow way, but the blue isn't. Uh, this means that I may be a teeny bit back out of phase again, but it does sound really good to me. I'd had it balanced before, and I may have done it on a different input, I'm not sure. Um, but effectively, what you're fighting for here is the moment where you start clipping, and see how it's starting to flatten there? I wanna dial it back until I'm no longer clipping. So we have nice, even, but maximum output coming through. Then um, you 
you can do the one of two ways. One way is here, obviously I could sit here with the screwdriver and just slowly adjust. And what it adjusts is just one of the two sides of the phase inverter and it will increase or decrease its output because there, in, in this particular one, there is a resistor, a variable resistor that adjusts how much of the signal coming out of the cathode is going to ground versus off to the next stage. This is what's called a cathodine phase inverter and it takes half of the, off the anode and half off the, the cathode. So you can adjust how much of that cathode goes in and then get it balanced. This is still fairly closely balanced. Another technique though is to use math there's a math function uh, in most of these scopes as well, where you can do um, A minus B. Uh, uh, hold on. Uh, let me go back. Uh, all right, so this is a fast Fourier transform, which we don't want. Instead, we go to A minus B. So the way A minus B works is that the uh, A and B should be subtracting from each other. The only difference here is now, if you can see the reason I've got these lined up is on channel one, I have it inverted on because I wanted to invert it to be able to, because they are opposite each other, but if you invert one of them, then they would be the same. Uh, so now you can see the direct opposite. And if I do go back to math and I do A minus B and then operation on, it should show me, uh, the balance of these two. This is something somebody showed me today and I haven't had a chance to play with this before, so we're learning together. Uh, source A is channel one, but source B is channel one, so I just change source B to channel two. And then we now have um, this purple line, which is interesting. So that seems to me to show, um, although I don't know what this offset is. There should be no offset, I don't think. And that seems to be bringing it down a little bit. So we've got an offset of zero volts. And it looks interestingly enough like um, this purple line is showing me the math of A minus B, but that should be neutraling itself out, which is kind of weird. I'm, I'm still learning how this works as well. Um, we can do A plus B. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, A plus B probably makes more sense because if they are opposites of each other and you add them together they should null out and so now you see there's a very small hiccup there and I could now you can dial that with a screwdriver very carefully to make that disappear that means a plus b uh, inverses of each other opposites of each other come to zero uh, it's very close but not perfect um, and I, like I said I had actually spent a little time doing it one of the things that I'd also have heard from the Dumble enthusiasts with these amps is you don't want it absolutely perfectly balanced, you want it just close. So at any rate, um, that is the basic concept of how you do this. Uh, I was just learning a new one with you right now, which is that A plus B with them being out of phase, and then it will show you this purple line is the amount they're still out of out of balance a teeny bit. Uh, I could, um, I don't have a screwdriver nearby that I would want to, but I could drop a screwdriver in there right now and just adjust that until that line either grows or gets smaller to where I want it balanced. Now, supposedly, to get the right amount of things, you can also use a fast Fourier transform mode, which is the math here. Instead of uh, a, a plus B, we want it to be uh, the, sorry, my dog's going nuts, down here at fast Fourier transform. That will show you, of these two, where the harmonics are coming out of the whole the whole thing. And right now, they're, it's really kind of flat. Now, there's another thing that I did is that I think that this balance, the way it's balanced, there is almost no noise coming in. Usually, if you have problems, you'll start seeing spikes across other harmonics and whatnot. And I think that's another sign here that this is really well balanced. To, you know, It's off just a teeny bit, as you can see, but uh, it's m very close and gets a much, much more headroom, much cleaner overall output. And so the distortion on this guy, when you really push it, also sounds a little bit better. Well, there you have it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please do make a comment here below and uh, let me know what you think. But uh, that is how to balance a phase inverter. Thanks, guys.